how to copy a file using Delphi. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use Delphi to copy a file. It's a procedure called copy file. I'm going to save an application in this folder copy file and then I'm going to create a new text document I'm going to call it name.txt and I'm going to save just one name inside this name.txt and then I'm going to copy this file using Delphi. Okay, so I'm going to add a button. Copy. And when I click on this button, I want to basically make a backup, backup or a duplicate name.txt in the same folder. I'm going to start off with a simple one first, just to copy the same file. Okay, copy file, then you need to specify the file that you want to copy. Okay, the file that I want to copy is name.txt. Okay, so name.txt, and it's going to be in single quotation marks. And then the second part is where I want to copy that file to. So the first part is what do you want to copy? Second one, where do you want to copy it to? So I'm going to copy it in the same folder, but there's already going to be a name.txt. So I'm going to say name2.txt. And the third property. I'm going to leave as false for now. Okay, so I'm going to click on copy. And then I'm going to have a look. And now I have a name 2.txt. And it has the same content as name. Okay, so maybe in your pets if you want to make a backup of your uh, access database, you can use this copy file. Let the user make a backup in a specific location. Okay, that brings me to the second point here. Um, if you don't specify the path of where you want that file to be copied to, it will by default copy it in the same folder as where your Delphi, Delphi application is. So if you want to copy it to a specific location, you need to specify the full path. Let's make this one backup. Okay, so now I want to copy this file into this backup folder. Okay, to get the path of that file. Okay, so the location. But that's not the full location. Still need, I want it to go into backup as well. So I'm going to say backup. Backslash. And then the new file name that I want to use. So I'm going to say name backup.txt. Okay, copy this file into the C drive, all these folders, subfolders, name backup, and give the file name name backup.txt.
again it was copied the content is in there you can also copy this to a network drive as well so it's going to be a h drive or something that's maybe mapped on your network or you can use i think you can also use ip addresses here if you want to copy it to a specific pc on your network or specific node okay um, let's have a look at this last property over here if I make changes to this, let's add John to the mix. John, save. If I copy it again, click on copy, it will overwrite the previous file. Okay, it will overwrite the previous file but if I change this false to true it will not overwrite the previous file so let's add jack okay, so now according to me if I copy try to copy it again it's not going to overwrite this file because it already exists. Okay, so let's test that. Click on copy. So this one should be without the jill. Okay, so if the file already exists, it will not copy it again. Okay, so this property is to check whether you want to overwrite the file if it exists or not. Okay. Uh, you can also copy any file on your PC. So if you don't, it, you can also specify a path here that you want. Uh, if the file is maybe in a different location, remember the file will not always be in the same folder as your Delphi application. So you can change the path here as well, the same as we did with the destination path. Then you can copy any file from your PC to any location on your PC. And like I said, you can also copy it to a network uh, location by using uh, maybe a H for a mapped drive or IP address or something like that.